Hello, I am Aman Soni and today I will be discussing with you balance of payments and its components. Balance of payments, in short, it is also called BOP. Okay? Balance of payment. So what is balance of payment? Balance of payment is a record of all financial transactions made between residents of a country and non-residents in a period of one year. I'll show you. Now suppose this is India. And in India, suppose we have three different components. One is government, other is say a company, India's company TCS, other is an individual, say me. Okay? And then we have few more few more entities. One is US government, other is World Bank, then we have Bank of America. As we have State Bank of India, similarly they have Bank of America. And then suppose we have Tom Cruise, a Hollywood hero. And then we have an Indian bank also, SBI. So what did I say? What is balance of payment? It is a record of all financial transactions between residents of a country and non-residents. So if Indian government is taking a loan from US government, it is part of balance of payment because it is a record of a transaction between resident of a country and non-resident. If So if Indian government is taking a loan from US government, it is called bilateral loan. Because it's taking place between two countries, bilateral loan. On the other hand, if India is taking a loan from, Indian government is taking a loan from World Bank, then it is called a multilateral loan. And both these loans, when so look, whenever government is taking a loan, it is called a sovereign loan because an independent government, a sovereign government is taking the loan, hence it is called sovereign loan. So both these loans would be classified as sovereign loan. Take it. Then if, so both these loans obviously it will be in foreign currency. If TCS, an uh, Indian company, is borrowing from a bank outside India, it will be called ECB, External Commercial Borrowing. So if an uh, Indian company is borrowing from outside India in foreign currency, it is called ECB. So again, this transaction is taking place across the border, hence this is also part of balance of payments. Similarly, if Tom Cruise, he sends me some money, basically called remittance. If Tom Cruise is sending me some money, say remittance, again in foreign currency, it is, it is also part of balance of payment. So what is balance of payment? It is record of all financial transactions made between residents of a country and non-residents in a period of one year. This record for any country is maintained by the central bank. Now, if you remember, we have also discussed another financial statement. We have also discussed Another record of financial transactions, if you remember, we have discussed budget. What is budget? Budget is also a record of all financial transactions. But in that case, the important component or the only component which is very, very important in case of budget, it is government. That budget is record of all financial transactions made by the government in a period of one year. Okay? So balance of payment be why Record of all financial transactions made across the border in one, one year. So what's the difference between balance of payment and budget? Now understand my thing. 
in this case when government is borrowing from world bank and government is borrowing from us government both these cases both these cases they are part of it is part of bop it is part of budget also because government is the participant hence it is part of budget and as this transaction is taking place across the border hence it is part of bop this thing this thing also it is also part of bop it's also part of budget now suppose indian government borrows from indian bank this transaction is not taking place across the border but in this transaction government is a participant so this transaction is part of budget but is not part of bop theek hai if tcs is borrowing from indian bank government is not a participant hence it is not part of budget it's not taking place across the border hence it is not part of bop bop remember if there is any transaction taking place across this border any financial transaction taking place across this border that is part of bop on the other hand if tcs is borrowing from a foreign bank in foreign currency it is ecb it is part of bop it is not part of budget similarly if tom cruise is sending me remittance this is part of bop and it is not part of budget all right so we have discussed what is bop what is budget and how bop is different from budget now let me discuss the various components of budget various components of bop in case of bop we have two accounts one is current account other is capital account current account consists of two balance of visibles also called as balance of tangibles and balance of invisibles or intangibles okay now balance of visibles it consists of balance of trade when i say balance of trade it means only and only goods only those things which we can touch example crude oil gold electronic item gems pharmaceuticals agricultural commodities ag industrial commodities if we talk about india balance of trade it is negative for us when i say negative it means in case of balance of trade there is net deficit that is we are importing more as compared to exporting in case of balance of trade in case of invisibles we have three things we have services second is income third is transfers income we have three components we have profit second is interest third is dividend if i talk about transfers we have three remittance gifts donations all right this balance of trade and balance of services it is together called balance of trade and services all right this is called balance of trade and services balance of trade and services is negative for india look balance services is overall positive because we export it income is overall negative because we pay because there are lot lot many foreign mnc in india so therefore there is outflow of profit outflow of interest outflow of dividend so the income is net outflow transfers is net inflow all right and if we talk about balance of trade and services net then it is negative for india because balance of trade negative is more than positive of balance of services then if we talk about capital account 
it is classified into three first is nri deposits so what are nri deposits nri deposits are time deposits they are time deposits made by nris in indian banks in foreign currency that is nri deposit second is foreign investment which consists of two two types fdi and fpi foreign direct investment foreign portfolio investment foreign portfolio investment consists of two foreign institutional investment and qualified foreign investment fii if a foreign institution is investing money in india qfi if a foreign individual if a foreign high net worth individual is, is investing money in india it's called qfi and third is sovereign loans in india's case nri deposit is positive foreign investment is positive sovereign loan is also positive all right so overall for capital account india has a positive in case of current account this is invisibles this, the visibles component it is negative but the invisibles component it is positive but uh, the negative component of balance of visible is more than positive component of balance of invisibles hence we have capital account in negative that's the reason we have current account deficit and now when crude oil prices are going up then again there is further outflow of foreign currency in current account hence current account deficit is increasing and capital account in india is positive we have capital account in surplus look generally this is a trend i am not saying this is universal truth in india's case for example we generally have current account deficit we hardly have current account surplus but capital account we always have in surplus and this if we see the recent trend then the capital account surplus is more than the current account deficit hence bop in india is surplus all right bop in india is surplus so that is that's it with this this lecture where we have discussed what is bop then how bop is different from budget and then we also discussed various components of bop which is current account and capital account in current account we have balance of trade and balance of balance of visible and balance of invisible balance of visible consists of balance of trade balance of invisible consists of services income and transfers invisible is positive visible is negative current account is overall deficit because of high negative of balance of visibles and capital account we have nri deposits foreign investments and sovereign loans all three are positive hence capital account is in surplus hence overall the as capital account surplus is more than current account deficit hence overall we have balance of payment surplus that's it with this lecture thank you